Okay, today we're going to have a go with scrambled eggs as well. So it's a very egg themed day. So I've got four eggs here, but you can use more or less according to who you're feeding. So I'll start off with a simple four egg um, scrambled eggs. So I'm just gonna break the eggs, four eggs. It doesn't matter if I break them this time. And I'm just gonna put them on the table this time. Four eggs in here. So I start it off in a bowl usually so that I can whisk the eggs at first. These are just mixed size eggs because I quite like them because it doesn't really matter what your eggs are like as long as you um, are just mixing them carefully. So then I just whisk them up. You don't need a fancy whisk. I'm just using a fork until it goes sort of pale, a sort of yellowy colour and you can see that all the yolk is mixed in with the whites. While you're doing that, I'm going to do a bit of multitasking and I've got a bit of um, butter here. Um, you don't have to use the butter, but it just adds a lovely flavour and you should see that starting to melt already. I'm going to add in some pepper. You can do that at the end if you want to, but I like to add it at any point really during the recipe. Some salt. And also, because I'm being a bit decadent today, I'm going to use a bit of milk. And also a little bit of cream as well. So that just adds an extra sort of lushness to your scrambled egg. You can add as much or as little as you like. So I'm going to turn this heat up a little bit now. And what you'll find, once you've added that to a pan, a non-stick pan if you can, is um, you'll find that it takes a little bit of time for it to start to set as an egg mix. So I'm just going to add that to the pan. And you might want to adjust the flavourings that you add. You could, I mean, you can do anything really with scrambled eggs, a bit like an omelette. You could add cheese to it, you could add other things to it, other flavourings, so you could add chilli to it, extra spices if you like, that kind of thing. And then you just kind of keep stirring it and you'll start to feel, as you're cooking it, it will start to thicken. Don't worry if it takes a bit of time because scrambled egg does take a bit of time and you might get a bit fed up and think come on what's it doing but actually you just have to be patient it's a bit like making a roux sauce when you're adding the milk to a roux sauce then um, you have to be quite patient with it some people tend can just leave it for a bit and just come back to it depends how you like your scrambled egg some people quite like it quite liquidy um, I know when I went to Paris there's a lot of uh, kind of scrambled eggs there that were quite liquid and it, was really, it still tastes really lovely but a lot of people quite like it and um, quite firm and you just cook it according to your your taste so you can see that the butter is starting to melt up. again this is this new fancy cooker it's really exciting so you could just take this anywhere especially if you have like a bed sit or if you're a student it shows that you can just cook on something quite simple so nearly all the butter is melted now I'm gonna add a bit more pepper actually so Often people say, well, is that a bit unhealthy because you've got the cream and the butter in, but you can just leave that out as well if you want to and just maybe have some low fat spread in there just to start it off because otherwise you find it, it sticks. If you've got um, a really good non-stick pan, then you can, you can use no fat at all really. And you don't need fancy gadgets, you don't need fancy pans. And you can start to feel it um, starting to thicken. So I'm going to turn it up a bit further. You don't want it to burn because there's nothing worse than burnt milk or burnt cream because it's not very nice. I'm using long life milk only because it's post lockdown and a lot of people have got long life milk in their cupboards that they want to use up. And so this is a nice way of just using it up if you've got some left in the cupboard. And you might be thinking now, mm, what's it doing? But you can kind of feel it on the bottom of the pan. If you can keep it moving, then you'll stop getting any bits that are really stuck to the pan because there's nothing worse than washing up afterwards uh, with a load of stuck scrambled egg on the bottom of the pan. And 
if you kind of see the bottom of the pan as you're stirring, you'll start to see that it forms almost like a film on the bottom of the pan. And that's a sign that it's starting to um, thicken. I think everybody kind of has a different type of oven or a different type of hob, and so you get used to your own one, don't you? So this is new for me, so I'm kind of gauging. But I can start to feel it turning a bit. And then what will happen over time is it will start to clump together into little kind of boulders of egg. Are good as well if you're on a high protein diet and you want to cut down on carbs because they keep you full for quite a long time throughout the day so if you have eggs for breakfast or even for lunch a boiled egg or poached egg on toast again you can do that without fat um, so you just poach the eggs in water or a boiled egg just boiling water or a hard boiled egg you can start to see now that there are little kind of blobby bits in there and that's when it's really starting to turn into scrambled egg rather than just um, liquid. So those will start to really turn quite quickly. So at this stage, you need to kind of stir quite quickly. And some people take it off the hob when the lumps are formed because then it continues to uh, heat. I quite like a dry scrambled egg, so I'm going to keep it on there as long as possible. And you can really, you can hear it now. So I'm going to turn it down a bit. You can hear it starting to turn because you can hear the bottom of the pan and you can really see the bits coming together hopefully you can see that if I lift it up and that's when you have to stir a bit harder and I try to get around the edge Oops, a bit flew out then try to get around the edge so that there's none sticking to the bottom that's quite a lot really that it's made just four eggs Do try to buy free range eggs um, as well but I like the mixed sizes because I think that stops any food waste because then companies can just provide boxes of mixed size eggs also it's good if you're um, budgeting for the whole week and you want to use different sizes eggs for different uh, recipes you can see now it's really cool it's all come together and literally about what five minutes and you've got scrambled egg now most people would take it off now because I like mine quite dry I'm just gonna leave it for, I'm gonna turn the heat off but just leave it on then just for a couple of seconds and then you can add more seasoning if you want have a taste see what you think have it on toast have it as part of a breakfast maybe with a few grilled tomatoes really nice so that scrambled egg really really simple people get hung up on how hard it is to cook eggs but actually it's really really simple so that's your basic scrambled eggs